A very beautiful morning to each and every one of you out there. Whatever the time is, wherever you are watching this from, morning, afternoon or night, we want to welcome you to this episode of Naked Issues. I'm CJ. And I'm PJ. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> oh this will God. be the first um, video we are releasing this year from CJ and PJ. Mm -hmm. The ones you've been watching so far, our videos from our mentors and I believe they've been blessing you. We've been seeing your um, our comments and all of that. And, yeah, yes, keep them coming, keep them rolling. This morning we have a very, very interesting thing to talk about and that would be... Women are humans too. <laughs> well, I like to put it as wives are human oh, beings. Yeah, wives yes, are human beings too. As well. Yeah. Okay, um, what informed our decision or choice of this topic, CJ? Can you tell us? Yeah, I remember um, one day we were coming back from an intense church program. So I was tired, you were tired, we were in the car. Then, you know, it just like occurred to me, you know. Now, I don't know if you've experienced this, but like, especially wives of pastors, and if you're a pastor as well, shout out to you. So there's like church program, you are as involved in the planning and everything. And but at that point where everybody is going back home, well, the kids, your husband is thinking, let's go home and rest. Ah, it's been a hectic day. You're thinking let's go home and prepare what everybody will eat sort the kids and show that everybody so and then it occurred to me but we're humans too you know we're humans we are as tired we're as so does it always have to be that round the clock um, um responsibility to be that person that tends to these things irrespective of how equally tired, exhausted you are. So that's what triggered, triggered this, this discussion yes, this, this morning. Discussion. Yes, so true. Wives are humans. <laughs> got needs too. Wives have got needs. Wives are humans. Um, before we delve into the nitty gritty of that, um, I want to say first and foremost that I am not. We are not blaming those men out there who have a lot of um, expectations, expectations on women because um, we have been cultured by society to actually find ways to gratify our needs. It was Maslow who told us some few things about the hierarchy of needs. That human beings, the moment you are born into this world, you came into this world with needs. As a baby, you had biological needs. As a human being, you have physiological needs. There's the need for safety. There's the need for, you know, self-expression, self-actualization as well. So most times you find yourself pursuing things that will help you gratify those needs. And even when you want to bring people into your life, it is most times because you want those people to meet those needs in your life. So basically, PJ, what you're trying to say is that we are driven by, by our, needs. our needs yes so when you're out there waking up you know going out to hustle even in the pursuit or in the choice of a partner most times the choices are how does this person meet the certain needs that i have and most times it actually forms the feet or the basis through the which spec. yes you select so selecting very the, very true um, framework having itemized your needs subconsciously you are saying to yourself does can this person meet those needs if this person does not will not be able to meet those needs you knock them off until you get that person who meets those needs so what you find out most time is that when the time by the time you now get into the marriage you are subconsciously expecting that those persons will continue meeting the needs for which you brought them into your life in the first place so basically in other words, um, it's it's a natural reaction yes. for people to be driven by, by needs. 
and it is also and and naturally people are wired to be selfish very very true know? we are so, not saying that in a bad light as we're human that beings it's normal like you, mm -hmm. your natural tendency mm -hmm. is to, to cater to your needs to your first needs. But what, what then happens if one is not conscious of this? Okay, we can be so focused on our needs that we get blinded to the needs of, the of others, others, and in this case, your partner. Yes. Most especially if when the person, you know, when, by the time they came into your life, they, start, they started meeting those needs. You just accept Yes. That. It is your job description now mm -hmm. to meet this need. And then at the point where they are not satisfying that, you start feeling like they are not doing enough you start you start feeling frustrated you start feeling very very true yes you know and so th that's what happens with husbands and wives and in this case you know you just expect that it is your job description to ensure that i have food mm -hmm. so irrespective of what your day was like or mm -hmm. our day mm -hmm. was like there's just that programming in your head that when you get home you know you want to relax you want the house to be clean very you very want true everything sorted and your brain is not telling you that the person that you are expecting, expecting to, to meet, meet those needs is also has been very, very tired and as well. also hoping <laughs> for a clean house and mm -hmm. hoping to be given food as well. Mm -hmm. So you And because of the way society has programmed us, yeah. are you getting me? Especially as men. We expect that <laughs> even if the woman comes home tired, oh just like God. you're tired, even if they come home, you know, later than you, maybe they even met you at home, you are expecting that She's got this super superhuman strength, strength to, to be needs. able to cater to your needs. Yes, she's wired to do that. <laughs> um, I, I think the whole point of this conversation is to say that, like, we understand, but um, just the same way... Uh, um, we don't, of course, as believers, we are not expected to run on our sensory um, or to run on the default setting that our flesh dictates to us. Or society, or society has, dictates to yes. us. Uh, the code for love, the code for, or the code and expectation that God has for partners in a marriage is love and selflessness. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, over and over and over in scripture, so you won't see in scriptures you won't see where um we're told that you will receive love from you know we're not told to search for love from the other person or to search for expectations from the other person instead we're told to receive from god mm -hmm. and then in in likewise manner mm -hmm. give you know so so the the biblical approach then to to this kind of scenario is that god is expecting you to not be need driven mm -hmm. but to be selfless driven to be give driven you know so don't think about what i will receive alone think instead you know re redirect your mind and think what can i give and when both parties are doing that yes. you know, that they are both you know meeting the expectations of one another because I'm programmed to give mm -hmm. and you're programmed to give. to give as well. In fact, you should outdo yourselves in who is helping or giving the most. Are you getting me? So, um, the basis for this conversation is to help everyone out there understand that it is blood that flows through the veins of wives. They also have emotions. They have um, hormones. Wives can be stressed as well as husbands. You know, I, 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 won't, I, won't, I won't blame us at times. You know, many of us grew up with super mommies who never complained to our fathers. God bless you. <laughs> IT is, is an amazing... Actually, woman. actually, actually. And I'd like to put a disclaimer out there in the world. That I, I have tried <laughs> to be her, but I, I can't be her, you know. And really, thank you for understanding as well that, you know, in this thing, we're, we're in this together. That wives are also human, so they also need to rest. They, need they, to can, rest. they also need to sleep. They, need to sleep. they also have needs to be, that should be catered for. They want to be fed. Exactly. And it doesn't mean that they are lazy. Exactly. That they, sometimes they also love to be spoiled. You know, some days just say, you know what, you're tired today. 
you, why don't just rest? Let me let me do it today, you know. And we're not saying you have to do it every day. We're saying husbands, you know, some days when you look at her face and you can see that she's tired. Mm -hmm. You should be very, should very be. understanding. And that brings us to a point in this conversation where we itemize empathy. Yes, empathy, 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 empathy. You know, again, when your expectation is riding high. Mm -hmm. You should be able to put yourself in the shoes of that woman. And say to yourself, okay, if it is me that closed from work by five or six, and I also had to do school run as well, <laughs> then my wife is now expecting that I will come home, clean the house, and still cook for her. Abba, Abba. Let's 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 have a face of you know humanity to our expectations. Yeah, to our expectations. So now we've talked about some of the um um it's normal it's natural and all of that so if you're someone or someone who is listening right now pj for someone who is listening what is your recommendation of ways that um they can help to curb this need driven desire to want to keep taking and demanding okay. without empathy okay first and foremost let me address the wives themselves um don't die in silence Speak. Are, are you getting me you should learn to say when so what you discover is that with time the woman or the wife may start becoming resentful of the husband feeling like oh in fact, you start hating marriage. Like, nobody told me this is what marriage looks like. I have literally lost, you know, my life. Lost, myself. yes, myself in order to cater to the needs of children. In order to cater to the needs of a man. While the things that actually give me joy that I like to do are neglected. And before long, you discover that little things that your husband used to do that you could tolerate will now start becoming irritating to you because subconsciously you have started building resentment, yes. building anger. Before long, nothing it does, we excite to you anymore. Right, and then also because of the tiredness, especially this is for husbands as well, you start realizing that your wife constantly looks worn out mm. and exhausted. Mm. And then... Very true, that glow. That beauty, you know, that, that thing that attracted you in the first place, we start diminishing. And then it's, it's looking, and of course, it's, so you start seeing that trend where the husband is looking so and fresher, <laughs> but the wife is looking <laughs> more tired and worn out, you know. The reason I'm laughing, my wife, is because I've heard people say before that uh, as husband and wife's age in marriage, the man starts looking fresher and the woman, while the woman starts looking like so, the husband's mother. <laughs> I love because could this be one of the reasons? Because now that you are saying it, it's making sense to no, me. No, because they are stressed. They are worn out. They are, they are tired. They are round the clock doing. And they because they have, be, it's like I accept that this is my responsibility and, you know, my job description in yes. this union. Yes. So they can't speak up to say, okay, I need help. I need so I, I'm not saying this is general but I believe that you know the vast majority most people I for one um and this is me I for one like I'm all like <laughs> I'm not even like I'm tired I'm exhausted you know so I'm happy that we had the, the opportunity to talk about it yes and to like um and it doesn't, like I said before, it doesn't mean that you're lazy. Asking mm -hmm. for help does not mean that you're lazy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make you any less of a woman, mm -hmm. especially if you are involved in other things. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are a full-time um, stay-at-home um, mom and you, or you have a remote job or you have... That is that's a different ballgame altogether. Because you have altogether. adequate time to very, rest. Very, very true. word here is finding time to, to rest, rest, to recuperate, to, recuperate. to, to rejuvenate. So if you have a busy schedule, as as equally busy as the, the husband... Yes, a working class wife. You, and then you then come back home and take on that full-time responsibility, responsibility of still catering to the needs of the kids and the husband and the home. The, the, the 
tendency for you to break down more, mm -hmm. to get sick more very, because very you are true. stressed. Very true. Um, and then to begin to be frustrated and worn out, you know, like we already said. Mm -hmm. And again, the resentment, the dissatisfaction, you know, you nothing triggers you anymore. Mm -hmm. You're not excited. Mm -hmm. Your husband's joke now annoy you. Very true. Unlike like before that, you can, ha, 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 ha. But <laughs> now, you're looking at him and you're wondering. Honey. No. That is so true. Do you know that on top of this, what you just analyzed, on top of this, some men will still want sex. Yes, now. They, <laughs> yes, now. They, of course they do. And then the, it, it becomes perfunctory for the woman mm -hmm. and not that job description mm -hmm. again because she's not... She's not. Um, she's not being. She's not resting. She's not being refreshed. She's not. So it's like you just keep taking and taking yes, and taking and yes, taking and yes. taking until there's nothing else to give. Mm -hmm. You know. So I, I think. I think it. It also leads to you know the spark dies in the marriage. Very very true. And even the man starts feeling like nothing. So even the man then starts beginning. You know. You you begin to feel. Not satisfied mm, anymore. Mm -hmm. you know. Anyway, the love diminishing return can set in. The because her strength is diminishing, yeah. so she may not be able to deliver to that capacity. She won't keep up. Like yes, she can't keep up. And before long, you as the man will also start complaining. Yeah. Lazy woman, you this, you that. Ah, they have to be clean. Yes. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like this. Oh, why the kids always wear? Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that Junior's hair is unkept? Have you mm -hmm. noticed? So, and then resentment is piling. Mm -hmm. piling. Yeah. So what what what's the solution? Because some people actually jump into marriages with these expectations, which we have clearly itemized. Yes. It's real, it's natural, yes. it's normal, especially yes. from the cultural programming, the societal mm -hmm. expectations. Mm -hmm. So you jump in with these expectations. The husband has these expectations. Even the wife has these expectations mm -hmm. from herself. Mm -hmm. You know. So what can help people to? Um, break away from this like to for every wife out there the first thing and which I believe is very key I want to say is that you should speak up you know um, our mentor Bishop Feb said this to us once but he was uh, making reference to men when he made this statement he said that um, men read newspapers not minds <laughs> Men are a lot of times the woman is quiet and is expecting that the man will use his initiative. Baby, can't you see? I'm yes. Baby, can't you see? No, he can't because, like we said before, he is consumed by his own need. And he may even think you are enjoying it because you are not complaining. Maybe you know you have a natural heart. Of yes, you know, superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's, he he gives you praise like oh yeah it's such a mm -hmm. virtuous woman you know the the, pro, the proverb that you want woman <laughs> and you know a part of you is satisfied yes. for the moment but your back is hurting very true you know? um now but baby I I have like a question now this is for for the okay for the woman you said she should speak up and ask for help yes and that makes a lot of sense yes but what if um. Um, the man, what, 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 what will you say to the man when your wife speaks up? You know, because some people could pick offense. Um, Is it not your job? You know, After all, my mom used to yeah. do this and even yeah. more. Why remember, can't you do I that? Remember someone told me that. Someone told me that, you know. But, you know, what, what should a man know? And, like, what, what, what's your take? What should, what should the husbands know as well? Because they may just feel like, uh, the woman is just spoiled. Mm -hmm. Is she being spoiled? Is mm -hmm. she just being lazy mm -hmm. after all? A, B, and C, and D mm -hmm. are doing it. So why can't you do it? So mm -hmm. what, what's your... Okay, first and foremost, um, <laughs> the body chemistry of the man is just like the woman. The man has things that stresses him. The woman also has things that stresses her. Are you getting me? The woman was not made from 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 rocks. He wasn't. She wasn't made from 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 iron. Right. It is the same blood, the same flesh, the same bones that you have that she has as well. So she says she's tired. In fact, honey, um, by make, men are even supposed to be stronger. See this. See this. 
Can you compare? Can you compare this hand? So, you see, you see how big it is. Can you? Oh my God! You, but fragile. So, so they should even do more if you want to talk about build, make, and and all of that. So for us husbands that are there, please take it easy on your wives. You are you getting me? Be very understanding. That is why we spoke about empathy at the beginning. Put yourself in their shoes. And ask yourself, if it is me, will I be able to, you know, juggle working full time and still be able to cater every to the needs every day? You know. Be a human being, have some level of empathy. empathy. And give them a break. You know, I like what you do sometimes. Like, Tell me about it. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> like when we're coming back from um, maybe church and then you say, ah, I don't think we should... You know, let's just buy something. Let's let's get something from you know, uh, what, restaurant. What is it they call them? GT or why you, you are promoting? GT. Oh, I'm promoting GT. Well, <laughs> it's so okay. From a fast food. You yes. Know, you, you do that a lot. You be like, ah, let's just you know, because I know you're tired. Or oh, sometimes you say, let's just do bread. I really appreciate those days when you're like that because it's like. Ah, did you know? Oh. How did you know? I really appreciate it. But I wasn't this yeah, way yeah, initially yeah, was because I also grew up with that mentality of seeing wives as superheroes. The Lord walked on him. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God for, for mentors. Mm. Thank God for mentors. Mm. Thank God for constant learning mm. and all that. But really, empathy and you know, then the next thing, you okay. know, be selfless, be, be generous. Yes, be very selfless and generous in giving out help without expecting anything in return. Are you getting yeah. me? Because most times we giggle, garbage in, garbage out. If I'm doing this much for my wife, I expect my my wife to be doing this, that, that, that. Okay, all the money I go and make, is it not for her and the kids? I spend endless times, you know, doing manual labors, doing office work and all of that. I expect that uh, in return, she should be able to do these other things that I'm wanting her to do. Right. When we are saying that you should be all of that for your partner without expecting, yes, yes. You're actually together in right. that union right. to bring out the best in each other, not just the best from yourself. In fact, your pride should be that should be that bloom, that glow, you know, that that radiance, you know, that is that you see in her whenever she comes out because she has either rested well or you are assisting in making sure that the pressures of life don't break her. Yeah. And then um, you, you usually say this, um, itemize the things that, you know, <laughs> there was this time, um, and it goes both ways though, you know, we're saying, well, this video is primarily for, for wives, wives, right? Yeah. But I'll just show this, you know, there's a time when we had a little bit of uh, a financial, you know, okay, so where does all the money go to? <laughs> So PJ, 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 PJ started making a list of everything he spends money on, you know. I'll see this long WhatsApp message. I'll see um, transfer receipts. I'm like, why are you sending me all this? He was like, no, so that you will know. You will know what I'm doing. Maybe if you understand what I am doing, you'll be less critical because... You know, we're more critical when we don't really know what mm -hmm. effort has been put Ve in. Very, very you true. Know? So what we say, you know, talk about what you did in the day. Like, talk, share, have those conversations about meaningless nothings of what you did, you know. Not like um, in, a, uh, in a bid to brag about it, but fill him in on what your day was mm -hmm. like. And then, likewise, husbands, you know, because it, it, it will help. It will give context mm -hmm. to... Um, everything else that you'll be asking for mm. or when you say you're tired you're mm -hmm. not saying what did you do have you not been at home since or um, is it not your job description like I like to say mm -hmm. so if you itemize you know if you're talking about some of the things that you do you know it will help to give them understanding very true of how your day went and how truly you are in need of Health rest and rest you know. Okay, um, this has been a very beautiful discourse with you, my beautiful wife. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we want to close this very episode with a quote from 
the one time president of the United States, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. But before we give that quote, baby, yes. don't forget to subscribe. Mm. Don't forget to click on the notification button mm -hmm. so that you will know whenever we post videos. videos. And please and also share. share to you know the contacts on your phone, your WhatsApp. You never can tell whose family or relationship yeah. that this will help. We have received a lot of testimonials, a lot of good testimonies of how naked issues ha have been helping, you know, families and individuals. So be that link between naked issues and that family yeah. out there who needs to hear this yeah. by sharing this video. Yeah. Now the quote from Barack Obama is that learning to stand in the shoes of another and seeing things through their eyes he said that is the beginning of peace. Peace. Never forget that. Don't forget that. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. See you in our next episode, which will be where we'll be addressing um, some of the issues that almost led to our breakup in marriage. I'm I sure you want sure. to hear I don't that. Need to put this part because it may not be the next video that we will do because <laughs> we are wearing the same clothes. <laughs>